Did you know that in India, backend developers earn an average of 7 lakhs per annum and it can go as high as 17.8 lakhs. Yes, you heard it right. Achha. <laughs> so if you are thinking about your next career move, you are in the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video and without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is backend development? You see, frontend development deals with what users see and interact with on a website or app. Backend developers work on the server side of the applications, managing data, business logic, and ensuring everything runs smoothly, making sure that the user's data is safe and the application functions efficiently. So what's the role of a backend developer? They write the code that handles requests from the client, manages database, processes data, and ensures that the application's security is top-notch. Security is paramount in today's digital world, and backend developers play a significant role in protecting users' data from threats like SQL injection and data breaches. Now, where's the demand for backend developers? Well, it's practically everywhere, from startups to service-based companies to product-based giants like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix. The demand is sky high. With competitive salaries, the backend development field offers incredible career growth. So now that you know the perks, let's talk about how to become a backend developer. Chalo bhai. First, start with the fundamentals of programming. Master any programming language you like, for example, Python, Java, or JavaScript. Next, pick a backend framework. It could be Python with Django or Node.js or JavaScript with Express. The choice is yours. Then start building a portfolio of backend application. Nothing beats the hands-on experience. Ye badi baat hai. Now comes the most important part. To become a proficient backend developer, you need to acquire several crucial skills and knowledge. Hai. This is where it all begins. You will start by setting up a basic server that listens to request. It's essential to gain a deep understanding of HTTP objects. Know your HTTP methods like get, post, patch, Familiarize yourself with HTTP status codes, headers, request bodies. Learn how to make GET request, handle POST request, and much more. Next, dive into REST APIs. REST APIs is the backbone of modern web development. It's a set of rules and conventions that enable different software applications to communicate and exchange data over the internet. REST API uses standard HTTP methods to perform operations on resources represented as URLs. Get comfortable with how REST API works. Now let's talk about databases. You must learn how to connect your server to a database effectively. Take a social media app for example. Understand how to create data models for various components like post, comment, and users. Learn how to perform CRUD operations. This is the fundamental for managing and retrieving data. Choosing a programming language that you enjoy is very crucial. However, when learning, focus on using that language with the context of an HTTP server. Don't limit yourself to the basics features or simple programs. Try to explore how your chosen language interacts with HTTP protocols and web servers. Understanding networking is key. Delve into concepts like TCP, HTTP and other fundamental networking protocols. Linux knowledge is equally important. Get comfortable with working in a Linux environment, which is commonly used for web servers and hosting. It's a vital skill in backend development. Caching is a topic you need to master. Learn why caching is essential and how it improves application performance. Understand the differences between caching and fetching data from networks or RAM. Caching plays a significant role in optimizing backend systems. Without a doubt, authentication and web security are the most important or most crucial aspect of backend development. As a backend developer, you must have an in-depth understanding of these topics. The security of your application is paramount. Learn about various authentication methods, security best practices, and how to protect your backend from vulnerabilities and attacks. Your ability to safeguard valuable user data is of utmost importance. Finally, you will need to learn about deploying your backend code base. Familiarize yourself with cloud technologies like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. You can choose any one of them. Knowing how to deploy your applications on cloud platforms is essential for making your backend services accessible and reliable. Last but not the least, I would like to add WebSockets into the list. Since web video streaming apps and OTT apps have become very popular these days, so you must have a technical knowledge about WebSockets. These skills combined with a strong dedication to continuous learning will set you on the path to becoming a proficient backend developer. Must planning. All right, we have covered the skills, but what about the technologies to choose from? Let's dive in. Python is known for its simplicity. Django and Flask are popular frameworks for building Python-based backend applications. Node.js lets you use JavaScript on the server side. And Express.js is a great framework for building APIs. 
Ruby on Rails is a productive framework known for its convention over configuration or COC and don't repeat yourself or dry principles. Java is a versatile and great for enterprise level applications. Spring is a powerful framework for Java backend development. PHP is a long time player in web development game and Laravel is a popular framework for PHP. So how much time does it take to become a backend developer? Well, it depends on your starting point and dedication. If you are a complete beginner, it might take uh, about 6 to 12 months to grasp the basics. If you have some programming experience, you could be ready in 3 to 6 months. And if you are experienced, you might get there in 1 to 3 months. Feeling inspired to kickstart your backend development journey? Excellent. Let's talk about the resources you have your, at your fingertips. First, we have got free resources like free code camp and online forums and YouTube tutorials always. They are fantastic for learning and networking with fellow developers. For a more structured approach, there are paid courses on platforms like Udemy and Coursera. They offer in-depth knowledge and certifications. I have put the links to the course in the video description. Becoming a backend developer is a rewarding journey. The demand is high and the salaries are competitive. If you are passionate about it, you can make a mark in the tech industry. To recap, start by learning the basics of web development, choose a backend programming language and framework, build your portfolio of applications and network with fellow developers. So gear up, dive in and start your journey towards becoming a successful backend developer. It's a path filled with challenges and incredible opportunities. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting tech insights and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.